Hello everyone, it's the final week in the Creative Envelopes prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. For anybody who wants to follow along with this prompt, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group um, in the description box below. But I'm going to be using security envelopes today. These are ones with a, a blackened, white and grey tone. Um, there are 16 different designs of these in total. Uh, security envelopes are just the envelopes that you're, uh, things like um, bank statements and important documents come in um, so you know these are free resources and you've probably got loads of these lying around your home um, so that's what I'm going to be using for today's project. Now I'm also going to be using some copier paper this is ATGSM and this is um, like a cream colour. Um, I ordered this um, expecting it to be more of a cream and it's sort of more of a buttermilk colour. I really don't like this at all so I'm trying to use these up and what I'm doing is bringing um, the paper into the centre like this and I'm going to make myself um, an envelope. I'm going to try and get this um, as neat um, and central as I possibly can. It does not have to be perfect so there we go. Um, and you can see I'm probably longer on this side here. That's fine, doesn't matter. Um, you can use a bone folder or um, a key card, um, you know, store card if you want to, just to make your creases more prominent. Then I am going to fold up um, a small amount um, at the bottom, like, like this. Again, use my bone folder. Um, to make that crease turn it up the other way and I want um, a deeper fold at the um, top something like that I'm not measuring this I'm just eyeballing it so that it's pleasing to my eye and so that's what um, I've got so far and so now I'm going to open my envelope out and you can see that I've drawn some pencil marks. Um, I've drawn some slanting in here, some slanting in this way here, slanting in this way and slanting in this way. And this is where I'm going to um, make some um, cut marks. Um, following those lines. Um, ordinarily I wouldn't do this, it's just so that you can see exactly what um, I'm doing on, on camera. So I'm just going to follow these lines here and do the same on this side. Like this. This one here. There we go. The other side. This one here. And then finally, um, this side here as well. And this will all make sense once I um, fold it together and you'll see why I've done this. There we go. So we can bin those, we don't need those anymore. And so when I fold my envelope together, now you can see um, that it just makes it look um, a lot neater. Can you see? Um, because the pages are not hanging out um, over the edge. Now you can either leave your envelope um, like this as it is, or I like to um, round the corners. Now you will find that if you've got um, a cord corner rounder, um, you just can't get it into those folds. So I've just um, used a piece of uh, cardstock like this just to create myself um, a round. And I'm going to use this as a template. So I'm just going to um, marry it up like this hold the piece of paper um, in place and I'm just going to trim around um, the edges just because this is more pleasing um, to my eye. This is a bit fiddly doing it on camera but there we go. Um, how much neater um, does that look? And again I can move it round to the um, other side as well. Um, get my scissors in there. Just follow that all the way. Um, around there we go like that and I'm going to do this on the bottom as well now I've decided I'm going to use this design of security envelopes so I've grabbed myself a couple of pieces of deli paper and I am just going to apply some glue just to the top flap here I've got my glue stick at the ready so we'll just apply plenty of glue around the edges so that it doesn't come unstuck and some in the center as well Make sure that's well, well covered. There we go. Whoops. 
And then I'm just going to apply my security envelope down like this. In fact, I think I'll do it on the top flap. That might be um, easier. So I'm just going to come in here. Sorry if I'm getting my head in the way. And I'm just going to stick, stick that down like that. Use my bone folder just to make sure that that's um, down nice and firmly and I've got no air bubbles. And then I can peel, peel it up and trim around the edges. There we go. Now the easiest thing I think is to just make it a bit smaller so that you're not dealing with so much paper. And I'm just going to trim carefully all the way around. I'm going to do this off camera so that I can actually see what, um, what I'm doing. So you can see I've done exactly the same with the bottom flap as well. And I just want to put some on the inside of the flap as well. And I'm going to have to be a bit careful because I only want to go um, to the line of the fold with my glue. So I'm just going to carefully drag that along like that and apply glue in the same way. Here we are. Make sure I've got plenty around the um, edges. These are so therapeutic to make as well. You can just you know, whizz a, a load of these off. And I'm just going to line the envelope up like that and trim around in the usual way. Um, use my bone folder first. There we go. Carefully unpeel this. And again, I'm just going to trim that um, just to make it easier to, to work with. And I'm just going to fussy cut that as well. So this is what I've got now. I've got the top and the bottom and the inside of the flap decorated. So I just need to decorate the body of my envelope now. Now I've pulled out this gorgeous um, black and white heart um, paper. This is just out of a cheap um, scrapbooking pad that I had from B&M stores in the UK, I think. Now, I don't like um, the way that um, I've got the cut off hearts at the, the top here. So I'm just going to trim that with my paper trimmer you see that looks a bit more pleasing to my eye now and now i want to add glue over the body of my envelope so make sure i've got plenty of deli paper just to catch the excess so i'm going to use my glue stick and i'm going to apply glue all over the rest of the um, envelope again just making sure that i've got plenty um, over the edges and as soon as i've done this i shall be straight back so I've got plenty of glue on my envelope and so now I just want to attach my scrapbooking paper. In fact, actually, if I turn it over, just make sure that you get this the right um, way up. And look at that back side of that paper. Isn't that absolutely hideous? Right, and I'm going to do this off camera because I want to make sure that I'm lining this up um, properly. But there we go. Stick that down. And again, you know, just smooth it down with your bone folder just to make sure that that's down properly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim the edges just to make life um, easier for myself. So I've trimmed the edges with my paper trimmer. So, you know, I don't have to do that by hand now. And I'm just going to, oops, a daisy, look, get rid of, get rid of that. And I'm just going to trim the rest. So I've trimmed around the edges of my envelope and of course now I'm ready to bring the fold back in so we can we can do that. Use the bone folder just to make the creases neater. Bring the flaps up. So I just need to apply some glue just down this um, central flap here. In fact, I'll do it on the, on the outside. Um, I'm going to use some um, three in one for that. Just because this is quite, um, quite stiff now. There we go. Of course, I also need to do the same with the bottom flap as well. So let's just glue that down. I'm just going to use my finger just to make sure I've got that all the way to the edge. And I'm just going to weight that down with a heavy book for a minute or two. 
So let's just finish this off and take it to the next level. You can see that I've marked the centre um, of the flap here and I've cut myself um, four pieces of black cardstock um, just using my circle punch out of this piece of thick th uh, 300 GSM cardstock here. Um, I've also used a white pencil to mark the middle there as well. And what I'm going to do, first of all, um, before I glue them down actually, is just make a, make a hole. Um, and I'm just going to use my Japanese um, screw punch so we'll make a hole just like that make sure we go all the way all the way through there we go and I'm going to do the same with them um, with this one here as well you could use a crocodile um, as well There we go. And then I'm going to glue these together just using a bit of three in one. So just apply a small amount round the round the edge and stick these, stick these together. And I'm just going to weight these down for a minute or two. There we go and as soon as those have um, set I'll be right back. So these are dry now and I'm just going to flip my envelope over and I'm just going to punch through there like that using the disc I made as a guide. Not gone quite through and then I've got um, a brad um, in sort of like um, a silvery gunmetal colour and I'm just going to add that to the back like so there we go flatten flatten that out that could have done with being a bit lower but that's fine and then i want to add another one here like this so i'm just going to make a pencil mark so that i know where where i want that to go like that i'm going to slip my board in and make sure that that's in place and i'm going to punch again Trying this time to get it all the way, all the way through. There we go. And again, I've got um, another brad, which I'm just going to add here. Just making sure that I'm holding the envelope open with my fingers to make sure that I don't punch through to the other side. And I'm just, I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing. I'm just opening that up inside like, like that. Make sure it's pressed down really nicely. There we go. And then I just need to grab some um, string. <clears throat> I've got some of this um, baker's twine here. I like this grey colour, so I'm just going to snip a small amount off. And then we can just make ourselves a nice little um, closure. So wrap that round a couple of times like that. And then we can just wrap that round like that there and I just think that finishes that off absolutely beautifully and so here's my finished envelope I just think the addition of the closure has just finished that off just absolutely beautifully and these are great for you know giving away in happy mail just filling with a few goodies or putting pieces of ephemera and that kind of thing in I've made another one as well using the world service um, security envelope and found this paper in the same pack that looks like thunder and lightning to me um, in a in a dark um, sky and I just think that goes really really well I'm always asked as well for ideas for masculine um, style um, makes and so this would be perfect for that so there we go I hope you enjoyed today's um, video and a quick one for you this week um, but that's it that concludes our um, creative envelopes prompt for the month and so Carly and I will be back next month with um, some fresh ideas um, I'll leave the link to Kylie's video in the description box below for you as well as the link to the mixed media emporium um, in case you'd like to follow along with the prompt um, but if you enjoyed today's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now